we are very, very proud of India. <laughs> so Trump visited India today. Normally Trump is a one-man comedy show, but when you add Modi to the mix, human intelligence suffers a great deal. We're normally aware of Modi's superior English skills, but today we saw Trump share his superior Hindi skills too. <laughs> and even BBC India got involved in taking the mic as well. India's friend, the President of the United States of America, Mr. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. India US friendship. India US friendship. It is a far greater and closer relationship. India has a true friend in the White House. It was truly the battle of the morons. And as, and as expected, they both lost. Namaste. Namaste. At the world's largest cricket stadium right here in Ababad. By his father's side as a Chiwala, you are not just the pride of Gujarat, as the great religious teacher Swami Vive Kamunand once said, and classic Indian films like DDLJ and Shoj, from Suchin Tendulkar to Virat Kohli, from the Vestas and the ancient epics. India is a country that proudly embraces freedom, liberty, individual rights, the rule of law, and the dignity of every human being. Modi's party, the BJP, has served as the political arm of a hardcore Hindu nationalist paramilitary group, the RSS. But if there is one thing that I'd really like you to know about the RSS, and by extension, Modi's party, it is this. The RSS was formed in 1925 by Keshav Baliram Hedgewar with the purpose of creating a Hindu unity. Early leaders such as M.S. Goldwalker admired Adolf Hitler and the Nazi movement for steps taken to ensure, quote, the purity of the race and its culture. That is true. The founders of the RSS admired Hitler for ensuring the purity of the race. Your nation has always been admired around the earth as the place where millions upon millions of Hindus and Muslims and Sikhs and Jains, Buddhists, Christians and Jews worship side by side in harmony. And in anticipation of Trump's visit, the Indian government built a wall to hide the poor people. You know, as you do. <laughs> it clearly didn't occur to them that the money that they're using to build and decorate that wall could have just been used to help the poor people that they were trying to hide. And hours before Trump landed, there were mass protests regarding the CAA bill, which indiscriminately targets the 200 million Muslims in the country, which prompted the hashtag Delhi burning to trend pretty much worldwide. Now here is a clip which is associated with the Delhi violence, even if let's just say for argument's sake it isn't. Yeah, it's clear from this video that the Delhi police or the Indian police are beating injured unarmed people who are laying on the ground and they're singing the national anthem and security forces are recording and beating them. Now if this doesn't demonstrate the sorry state of this country then I don't know what does frankly. <laughs> Yet you have always stood strong as one great Indian nation.